Hey guys, I said I was going to be making a video on if there is an error that occurs when you are doing your data transfer. And basically what it's going to say is when you are doing your data transfer, it's going to be like, um, in, it's not going to say legit there's an error that has occurred, but what it's going to say is it's going to say, um, please plug an Ethernet cable into the device, and you know you plug an Ethernet cable in, and then there also could be a message that says, go into device one and set it up even though you've already know that you set it up so what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to shut down Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here okay you're going to want to hold you just shut down the PS3 okay um, I'm actually doing my jailbroken one right now okay so what you do is you just hold down the power button tell it just turn it off just turn it off and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold your finger on it till it turns on, and then it's going to turn right back off. So just hold your finger on it till it turns right back off. You're going to hear a couple, hear a couple beeps. Okay, now it's shut back off. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your finger on it, and then it's going to go beep, and then it's going to beep twice. This is just putting it into recovery mode. For this, you're going to want to have a um, USB cable to link your controller up. There you go. Okay, now, where is my cable to link my controllers up? Over here. Okay, so now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect USB cable right there, and then you want to plug your controller in. Okay, now it's going to bring you up to this message. This is the recovery menu, whatever. You're going to want to go to option 3, which is restore file system. You're going to want to click it, and you're going to want to go, yes. Are you sure you want to restore the file system? Question mark. Yes. And you're going to want to wait. This is not going to get rid of your jailbreak. Don't even worry. I can show you that my homebrew is still going to be working even after I restore the file system. But like I said, basically this is what happens. It just deletes all the corrupted files so that you your data transfer is possible. Yes, just click yes if you're doing what oh, you need to relink your controller. Press yes. Then you're gonna want to hit yes. And then it's gonna say your hard disk's file system is corrupted and will be restored. Hit OK. It doesn't delete crap. It's just restoring it, getting rid of the corrupted files. It shouldn't take long at all. And it is already done. And then it's gonna reboot. It's not going to like turn off your PS3 and turn it back on. It's going to go back to the home screen. Then we'll link up the controller again. And then, as you can see, it is still, I can show you, still on 3.55. Go up. 3.55. And then I can show you that homebrew is still working. Um, I will go to Comgenie's awesome file manager. There you go. Homebrew is still working. Awesome file manager. And then basically you do you do the exact same thing to your other PS3 if the same thing happens. So well no, you if you get that error, you're gonna want to do it on both PS3s. So you just want to hold the power button down for you want to do exactly what you did on this PS3 to that PS3 and just follow the steps. And it's not, it's the only thing it's going to erase is your corrupted files so that you will be able to data transfer. And after that, if that doesn't work, personal message me and there may be something else wrong, but I highly doubt it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe.